Brianna Aldridge joined by Clarence Hill from Dallas City Sports to break down what is happening with this Cowboys team. And I think the biggest thing, because it kind of came out when we wrapped up yesterday, so I just want to start off with that Dak Prescott news. Knew it wasn't good, but just kind of update us on his latest injury. We know he's not on IR yet. Yeah, we already knew Dak was going to be out multiple weeks uh, with the hamstring injury, but it's now known, and he confirmed to me yesterday, that he has a partial avulsion. That means that the hamstring is partially falling off the bone. And so it's not good. It's worse than expected. He's getting uh, second and third opinions. He wants to play. Mike McCarthy said most likely he's headed to IR. The question is that whether he needs surgery. And if he needs mm -hmm. surgery, he will be out for the season. You know, and of course, depending on how long he's out, depending on where the season is, he might be out for the season anyway. So we talked about where the season is. Okay, it's Cooper Rush time. That's pretty clear. Everyone's behind him. Do you think it really changes? Because it's not like this connection with this offense was, you know, peaking yet. Do you think Cooper Rush coming in really treads either way? They want to believe that. And I don't know if they, anybody expects the offense to be better with Cooper Rush than it was with Dak Prescott. What their hopes are is that Cooper Rush has a 5-1 record as a starter. He was 4-1 two years ago when Dak was out with a broken hand. And so he held the fort together so that Dak can come back and they made the playoffs. The difference is this defense is not what it once was. This running game was not what it once was. Cooper managed the team. They played good defense. They ran the ball well. It allowed him to not lose games. Mm -hmm. Right now, you need the offense to help win games, you know, especially where the, where the defense is playing. And I don't know if that's who Cooper Rush is as a quarterback. Thinking of those offensive weapons that have been kind of quiet, we'll start with the running game. Uh, Rico Dattle's been stealing the show, and to everyone on the outside, he seems like running back one. McCarthy was just asked this, and he kind of, like he's been doing, kind of avoided that question. He's not saying who's number one running back. Um, but to you, when you look at this group, with the drama that happened last week with Zeke and there being very, I think he called him a positive light in the room um, this morning. How do you just view this running back room? Is Dowdle number one to you, regardless of what's being said? Well, Dowdle is clearly number one, but it's maybe like the tallest short guy. I mean, it's not like, let's not confuse Dowdle with prime Zeke or uh -huh. prime Emma Smith. He's the best of this bunch. And you saw last week, there was no rotation. He carried the bulk of the load against the uh, Falcons, and they kept feeding him the ball and did well. And I think that's the way it's going to go, and that's the way it's been going. He's going to be RB1 for sure. And then we'll see where the carries go with Zeke and with Dalvin Cook. And, and obviously Zeke uh, was sat down last week for disciplinary reasons, missing meetings and whatnot. Uh, he's back at practice this week. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Understanding this, that Dalvin Cook has one more practice elevation where they have to decide whether to sign him to the active roster or cut it. You know, and so I, I think the rubber going to hit the road next week with Zeke or Dalvin Cook and whether who's on this roster going forward. Do you think there's a possibility that Dalvin Cook could stay and they make, you know? Well, it's funny because everybody's talking about Zeke's numbers, 3.1 yards per carry. Well, Dex, Dalvin Cook's been out here the last two weeks. He has, he's averaging two yards a carry. I mean, he's going to have to do a lot better than he's done for them to keep him over a favorite son like Zeke. And I mean, if they were going to cut Zeke, they would have cut him last week. You know, if you have these disciplinary issues, you're not being productive, why keep him? You know, so the fact that they kept him, you know, tells me, you know, obviously there's something else that worked there and they're not really trying to get rid of Zeke. Uh, and again, Dalvin Cook has not shown a lot since he's been on the field and, you know, Rico's getting most of the carries, so he's going to do a lot has to do a lot better than he's done the past couple of weeks to keep him over Zeke. With Dak out, obviously that's a big leadership piece you take off the field. McCarthy earlier today said that he has leaders in this group of players, but they're not vocal leaders. Do you think that's really, do you think that's an option right now? Like, do you feel like this team needs a vocal leader? I know you have to back it up with action, but he literally said, you know, that's not what he has. Well, it's kind of the mood of practice. And I think that's what the vein of the question was because yesterday at practice on Wednesday, it was quiet, you know, and so there's not a lot of talk. It's a bad, it's not a good time. It's not a good mood around the locker room right now. Mm -hmm. And certainly their, their, their professionals are going to do their job, but they're riding a three-game lose streak. You lose your starting quarterback, you know, so you have to lead by example. I mean, the rah-rah the stuff means nothing, you know, and, and you have to show it on the field. And you need your guys to come back and, 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 and do those things and, and give you something to feel good about because as Michael Parsons had on his – shirt during his podcast of the day, say less, do more. Say less, do more. I think that's 
sums up what needs to happen with these with this team with this group right now last question for you do you think the Cowboys what you see I think there was nine starters on this um, injury report yesterday do you feel like I don't know if Michael Parsons comes back like it seems like he is Cooper Rush takes care of the football Dado has the game of his life I'm throwing out a lot of things that has to go right but do you feel like they have a shot against what the Eagles are bringing in here well I mean on any given Sunday, right? You know, anything can happen. That's why you play the game. You can't make it. That's why you don't gamble because anything can happen. But you know what they say, if, if was a fifth, we'd both be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> if Dowdle had the game of his life. If all of this. They are, the defense was bad when Michael was out there the first time, remember? Facts. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard road to over the Cowboys this week against the Eagles team that's playing pretty well. They're hitting their stride. They got all their guys. Uh, but you never say never. Never say never. Cowboys might get their first home game win of the season. That's going to be it for Clarence Hill, Brianna Aldrich.